so actually i came after a long time so i hope you all are okay today we are going to discuss about the sweep command sweep command is a facing module let's see uh, how can what is a sweep command uh, actually sweep command is having the uh, four types of four profile so first one is explicit then we are having line profile then we are having circle profile and we are having one profile every profile has different different types of subtypes and total you can say 21 types so the first command we are going to discuss about the explicit type with reference surface with reference surface we need one profile and we need one guide point let's see how can we create this one so first select like this uh, plane and we will create a profile and uh, first point second point and and third point profile is created now i'm going to create its guide curve uh, guide curve i'm just creating like this one and uh, this one this point should lie over to this surface this curve i'm going to click on sweep we are having profile we are having guide curve Let's click on the table so you can see that uh, this reference surface we need only one profile and we need it from guide curve but other things the surface is selected default spine is also selected default let's click on the okay. now we are having this option that drill limiter okay so drill limiter is the option uh, let's see uh, we will relimit the profile okay we can say that we can, we can say that we will limit the profile in the particular reason so we'll create the create plane and selecting this profile and my plane is created over here or you can create the plane separately uh, right click again create plane and at this point i'm going to create normal to curve select the plane okay now these two planes are done i uh, click on the preview so now you can see uh, that uh, profile is created over here in the rail limiter portion Okay, so this is the uh, we are having that uh, profile type reference surface and this one. Now we are having other parameter the smoothing parameters. The smoothing parameter as we discussed already in the multi section solid part. Okay, this is the same parameters we are uh, having when we are having some complex types of uh, shapes. That time we uh, can use these parameters. So I am not going to use uh, this one at this time. So uh, let's see the next one. Uh, before next one, we are having this one also. That uh, twisted area management. We will see it later also. We will cover uh, this command. Okay. Uh, but let's see the second portion with the two guide curve. So let's select the profile. Uh, let's create the profile. I want to explain. Now I'm going to create a profile. And now I'm going to create a guide curve. Two guide curve as we needed two guide curve in this course. Okay, and the first one is this one, uh, but we need to apply the points. Going to the second one. Again, I'm selecting this plane, sketching over here. Again, apply the pencil machine. So, this is done. Now, click on this one. We are having two guide curves. This is the profile, and this is my guide curve one, and this is my guide curve two. Let's click on the preview. So now in this case, uh, this profile will pass through these two guide curves. Okay. So in this, uh, we are having the same option that is available in limiter. So I'm not going to use this one again. And uh, the dif uh, the difference is that we are having the anchoring type is available. Anchor point two, point one, and anchor point two. Also, we are having point and direction. Let's see how can we use this one. So I hope it is clear. Uh, let's move to the next diagram. Okay. Uh, now. And create the profile. Suppose I'm going to create this one here. And this one. 
Uh, this is my profile, and now I'm going to create this the guide graph. Guide graph. Uh, need to this point and this point and the coincidence. And again, select in this plane, sketch. We need this point and this point right click and coincidence. So now I'm going to use this one as the two guide curve. Let's click on this one, select the profile, select the guide curve one and select the guide curve two. Click on the pivot. So now you can see that in the earlier stage it was creating on the downside, but now when uh, my profile is uh, upside. Now it is moving along with the profile. So now, if I want, and uh, now I will use this one as anchor point. Okay. So let's see how we'll use the anchor point. So now uh, I'm going to use this anchor point. So anchor point, we generally say that anchor point is the intersection between the profile and the guide curve. Okay. And with the help of this guide, uh, anchor point. Uh, Suppose uh, if the uh, your profile is not uh, lying with the guide curve, then we can use this anchor point. Let's see how can we use this. One? Select the first anchor point and select this is my fir uh, first anchor point and this is my second anchor. Point. Now click on the page. So I hope uh, I got it. That how can we use the anchor? Okay. So this is the first case. Uh, let's say uh, I'm using the another method. So my profile and first guide curve and the second guide curve. Now we are having the point and direction. Okay, so I'm going to use this one as a point, uh, like anchor point one. This is my anchor point one, and the direction. Uh, let's say I'm defining this is my direction. Let's click on the view. Okay, with the help of this, we can also use this anchor point one and direction. I hope uh, it is clear to you that how can we use this one. Uh, we will now we will discuss about the next one that is a pulling direction. Let's see how can we use the pulling direction. Now selecting the plane and sketching over here. So I'm going to create the profile. This one is the profile I created. Now I'm going to create the guide curve. Going to create this point. So uh, this is done here. Now let's move to this sweep. This is my profile, and this is my guide curve. And direction, direction. I'm giving it to vertical direction. I'm selecting this one. Let's click on this pin. So you can see here uh, that it is done. Double click over here. Now we can define the angle also. Suppose uh, I'm going to define the 45 degree. Let's click OK. So now that is uh, created. Surface is created at 45 degree. Now, uh, as you can see, that there are four arrows are available. It is having four possibilities. You can see here angular sector previous. This is the one possibility. Now I'm changing it to next and click on the preview. And this is the second possibility. Again, next. Preview. This is third possibility, and this is a fourth possibility. So we can choose uh, at particular angle, and where in which direction or uh, in which uh, axis we want, we can create according to this. So I hope it is clear. So now uh, we are looking for the twisted area management section. Let's see what is the use of this. And how can we use this? So I'm in the command with the pulling direction, okay, and this is the profile, the same profile, and this is the guide curve which I created. There's some complexity in the guide curve. Okay. So now we have to select the profile and select the guide curve, and direction same. I'm selecting as a upward direction. Let's click on the pivot. 
so uh, as you can see that it is creating very easily uh, now you can see it is something like uh, say uh, overlapping little bit overlapping is it okay let's say i'm changing it to angle to 10 degree i'm making a 10 degree let's click on the page. so now it is saying at least one twisted area could not be filled Try to enlarge the area by moving the cutters or by increasing the setback frame. So now here, the same warning is here. Uh, you can see that uh, these surfaces are overlapping. That's why it is getting there. So we are having twisted area management. Uh, let's uncheck this full twisted area and click again preview. Okay. So you can see here uh, that. Is created the surface, but this portion is not completed. Okay. Uh, if we, uh, I'm going to uh, check this one, remove cutters on preview. So actually, that will show the uh, preview uh, that a cutter uh, is available or not. Cutter is that cutter. We will say cutter. This is the cutter portion. Okay, means it will cut the portion uh, wherever required. So let's say I'm unchecking this. Just click on the preview. Now this is here. So uh, uh, that is done. I think uh, you have to uh, understand the twisted area management. Now we can move it to upward also, wherever required, like this one, and click preview. Okay. Now I'm going to fill this area. So by clicking fill twisted area, let's click on the preview. So now you can see the twisted area has been filled. So this twisted area can be filled by three methods: the automatic method that is already default. Then we have a standard method. Just click on the preview, so it will fill according to the standard method. And then we have as a similar to guide. It will fill according to the guide curve that is provided. Okay, just click on the preview. The same one you can see the uh, some twisted shape is here also. Uh, we can check the automatic. So in automatic, there is no uh, not more than bend. So let's see, similar to guide and click preview and uh, okay. So the dash command, we will discuss about the other option. Thank you.